Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Nicole Adias and with Prospect to Win. On this channel, I discuss sales strategies for getting in the door through effective cold calling, presentation do's and don'ts, and personal development. If you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please take a moment and do so right now. So today I'm going to talk to you about how to keep going and persist when you're making cold calls. On my last video, I talked about overcoming obstacles from a personal standpoint. Well, this very much connects to cold calling in business because as you become more self-assured, when you pick up the phone, people can sense that. So it's all connected, the personal and the business. Now you're on the phone, you know, your message, you're, you're very comfortable, but you hate doing them because you're hearing a lot of no's and it's frustrating. And like, how do you get through all of that? Well, the key to anything is persistence. The key to getting through is persistence. I just would like to remind you all that you need the right decision makers. Don't waste your time with the wrong people. Never waste your time with the wrong people. How many times have I heard people say to me, well, you know, it just doesn't work. I've called so-and-so and they just don't call me back. And like, how many do I have to call? How many times do I have to call before I, you know, call it quits? Well, you have to ask yourselves. There are three things to pay attention to. One, decision makers, you contacting the right people. Two, is the message right? And three, are you persisting? So if those three ingredients are not there, this whole thing is just not going to happen. Time for a sip of my coffee. It's just not going to happen because, you know, I've worked with companies, I've worked with recruiters and, you know, and I know what the numbers are. I know it takes approximately 10 calls to get a meeting on average. Okay. Um, with other businesses, it might take 20 or 25. And I've heard, you know, companies say, well, you know what, how come this isn't working? Well, maybe the message wasn't there. The message is not correct or the leads were poor. Now, what do I mean by poor leads where no one is calling you back? There isn't any interest in the message. Um, the numbers are wrong on the list. There could be a, a multitude of reasons. So it's not just the telemarketer per se, or the cold caller per se, that controls the whole situation. It's those three ingredients together, good leads, right decision makers, persistence over the phone. That's it. Three things. And now it's time for another sip of coffee. So this is just a short, quick video today, a reminder to pay attention to those three ingredients to get moving, to make things happen. And then you will overcome the nose after nose after nose. So keep it going. Make sure to analyze why something is or is not working. Implement it, learn the numbers and keep it going. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.